And Virginia will not be making changes to push a mask mandate for indoor settings despite a rise in COVID cases. Today, Governor Northam says Virginia is recommending masks for places with high transmission but not requiring them. 10 News reporter Annie Schroeder is working for you tonight, breaking down the primary concerns that state leaders have when it still comes to the pandemic. The governor was here in Blacksburg today to address how millions of dollars in funding from the American Rescue Act would be spent. He also addressed the rise in cases and while they won't be requiring people to wear a mask for the time being, they are encouraging all Virginians to get vaccinated. Right now, recovering from the pandemic is at top of mind for Virginia Governor Ralph Northam. With every investment is to help Virginians recover from the pandemic and make strategic investments that will improve quality of life going forward. During a stop in the New River Valley Thursday, Northam announced because of a rise in cases, masks will be recommended inside. But the top concern right now is that Virginians are still not getting vaccinated. If they're in a, a an indoor uh, space uh, around other individuals that perhaps been vaccinated in, in high uh, communicable districts, uh, regions uh, of Virginia, we're going to encourage them to wear a mask. Uh, we're not going to have a mandate from Richmond, uh, but we, we certainly encourage that. Several localities in southwest Virginia have a high rate of transmission. Northam says about 70 percent of adults have gotten the shot, and the most important part of keeping the state open is making sure all Virginians are healthy and safe. We know that masks, we know that social distancing, uh, they help, but the key, the answer to getting this pandemic in the rearview mirror is for everybody in Virginia that can to roll up their sleeve and take a shot. Northam says the state will continue to follow guidance presented by the CDC. Coming up on 10 News at 6, we'll break down how more of that funding from the American Rescue Act will be allocated during the General Assembly session next week. In Blacksburg, Annie Schroeder, 10 News, working for you.